Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. Today we will cover the user management for your Autodesk account. And to simplify everything, um, the user management is specifically for the contract managers, the primary and secondary admin uh, that have control over all the contracts for your Autodesk account. So to be able to add users to your account to uh, shift the products from the different uh, contracts that you may have, this is where we can do all of that. And so we'll focus everything that we're going to talk about over here on our left hand side of your Autodesk account under user management. So the first by user, this is where we are seeing on the screen here, and this will list our teams or team, depending on how many different contracts that you may have under your account. This is at the top right, how we can invite users. We can export that list of users as well. And we can also go in and rename those teams or those different contracts. So as default, the contracts or teams that get applied, so maybe you keep adding additional contracts or products down the road for your particular um, firm, this is where you can go in and actually rename those particular contracts or teams. So notice here, you can just go in and rename those, hit save changes, cancel. Now if you did sign up for the SSO or single sign-on, this is a premium plan, but this allows the uh, contract manager or that primary admin more control over being able to see what users are uh, using what products, how often they're using products, and you're able to uh, be able to um, get a more in-depth look at all the product usage based on all the users. And this way, if you need to uh, scale back on the number of licenses that you have or add more, you're really gonna see all that information here in the SSO. Now also the reporting, this allows you to include all of the uh, personal data as far as seat usage, the username and the user's email address when you're creating these reports as well. So it's not going to give you, you know, their passwords or anything like that. It just organizes it a little bit better on what products are being used, who's using it, and then their email address that's tied to that particular user that you've added here as well. So let's jump on back here. And with those uh, users, you know, how do we go in and add those? Well, that's simply up here at the top right of your screen, invite users. By default, it is invite single user. So it's first, last name, email address, and you continue to do that one at a time. Now, if you want to select invite multiple, it's just copy pasting those names and email addresses. Now, the example we see down here below, this is how you need to input that information. Or you can use a CSV file and do it a lot quicker and easier, especially if you have more than, you know, just a handful of users that you're adding to your contract or account there. Once all that's done, it's simply adding all of those users into your user management here. Now, how do we add the products? Well, this is where we select that particular user. And once you add the user, it asks, would you like to assign products? So and that's a little step that uh, you may see a little bit different than what we're showing right here. So once you're in that user, you can actually go in and control by adding additional uh, products or collections that we see here, you can also go in and unassign as well. And you'll see this little blue arrow off to the right of each of these options that you have, which means you can say, okay, I want to uh, remove some of these items. Well, this is simply because maybe not everybody needs access to all the same software. Well, this is where we can do all of that right here to the right of the unassign or assign check mark. So once all of that's done, um, what if we need to change the role of a particular user? You can do that up under the user's name here, change role. Everybody that comes in that is not a contract manager or primary admin, you can see how it defaults to a basic user. 
Now, if you wanted to go ahead and select somebody to be a secondary admin, you can do that here, and you can have as many as you want. Now, these secondary admins can actually come in, add users, change the roles of people, as long as they're um, a primary admin, um, the only role that they can change is from user to secondary admin here, or removal. Uh, they can also add or remove those products and cloud services as well for those users. So this really helps out that primary admin or contract manager um, as what it was uh, called prior uh, to this newer way of using these subscription licenses here. So you can see here uh, with that information, this is just a, a really a easy way to go in and control adding users, the product, product usage, and also if you ever need to remove somebody, let's say uh, somebody left the firm or maybe they were in temporarily, you can always come up here to the top right, hit that little trash can, and this will remove that user from that uh, listing within the by user, by product, classic user management, depending on what, you know, uh, products under what contract and things like that. Now, let's jump over to by product here. And so under by product, it's almost just the opposite of what we saw by user. So this just up front shows us all the products that we may have under a particular contract or team. And this allows us to then go in and see how many seats are available. And you can also click on the view details if you wanted to, to go see what users are in there. Now, uh, you can also assign users from here, and we do have the assign, which is that, you know, single user, copy-paste. Now, if you can select in there, it'll also let you know who's already added in here. Now, you can also import to assign. There's that CSV, so if you have quite a few users, this helps save a lot of time adding those users in here. And then once that's done, you've quickly assigned singular multiple users quickly to a collection or a product within your user management here. Very simple. You can assign, unassign, and everybody's taken care of quickly. Now what we'll do here is we'll jump back over to the classic user. Now this was what everybody seen early on uh, when subscription licensing first came out. And so with this, this is where we would simply add users. And this is where we could do a singular, uh, like what we saw for by user early on, and then also a bulk add as well. And so notice the little check mark, I'd like to assign products to the users now. This is what I was mentioning earlier. When you go add those users, you can simply uncheck this if you want to do that later. Uh, or by default this is turned on and you can quickly assign those products as you're adding those users as well here. But you can see here with the users listed what products and services they have, any benefits, maybe downloading products, um, add-ons, things of that nature, updates, and then editing their access. And this X here is the removal. So it's like that trash can, but it's just simply an X here. So when you get looking through those, any primary, secondary admin or contract managers, they don't have that because you have not given that primary um, admin privilege to somebody else. So you cannot remove yourself or whoever the primary admin is unless they choose to remove themselves from that primary admin privilege and pass that on to somebody else. So it's just a quick little description of each of these and hopefully this has helped out. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Have a great day and thank you for your time.